today I've got a 2013 Toyota Hilux two-wheel drive and I'm going to show you how to replace the engine oil and oil filter. I'm going to start off by raising the vehicle up so I can get underneath and undo the sump plug. So now you can see we're up under the vehicle and the engine sump, the engine oil is just in the middle of the vehicle there and to the right to the driver's side, up the side is the oil filter. So we'll go ahead and undo these both now to let the oil drain out. Now the only tools that I'll be using to do this, the 14mm spanner and my 3.8 ratchet with long extension and oil filter tool to loosen the oil filter. I'll just jump back under, crack the sump plug. Let's leave that to drain for a little bit and we'll uh, go ahead and loosen the oil filter off. So I've just loosened up the filter a little bit with the tool. Now I'll go ahead and pull it out. Let's wind it out the rest of the way. Go. Now that you've got the filter out, just get yourself a can of degreaser and just clean up the oil filter ceiling surface up there and give it a wipe down with a rag just so that you get a nice clean mating surface for the new filter and then we're going to chip off the old sump plug washer, knock that off the sump and get a new one ready for that. I've just grabbed a little pry bar now to flip that old sump plug washer off. There we go, we got a new one. So here we've got our new oil filter, our new sump plug washer on our sump plug ready to go. And just get a little bit of engine oil, try to prepare a little bottle. that on the surface seal the oil filter just so that when it winds on it doesn't catch on the housing it just slides on nicely go ahead and whack the new filter in screw that on just be careful not to cross thread the threads on the filter and the housing it doesn't feel right just wind it back and back on Tighten that right up. There we go. And now we'll whack in the sump plug with the new washer on it. And just tighten that up with our 14mm spanner. You don't want to over tighten this because you'll split the uh, sun plug washer. There we go. Now just to finish off with that can of degreaser that you got, just finish spraying up around the filter and all over the uh, subframe to get rid of all that old engine oil that ran down out of the filter and then we'll just wash it down with some water after to get rid of all the degreaser. Get that nice and clean. It's not leaking on the road. Just to go over it with some water. Wash all the degreaser and any excess oil off. That way you don't have it dripping all over the road and your driveway, leaving unwanted oil stain marks everywhere. So just clean it all up. Good to go.
we'll bring it back down and fill it up with oil. So I've just lowered the car down onto the ground now, just remove the oil cap, we'll go ahead and fill it up with fresh engine oil. Whack our funnel in. And we have a 530 full synthetic engine oil going into this. And the sump capacity is just over five litres. So you may have to buy a five litre and a one litre to fill it right up. So I'm just putting four and a half litres in. And then we'll go ahead and start it. And then check our oil level, see where we come. Uh, just before we start it, we'll just check, make sure we have enough oil in there. Put the dipstick out. And the oil level is just above the minimum. It's probably about halfway. So that's enough, plenty in there to start it. We'll go ahead and start it now. We should expect to see that drop due to filling up the oil filter full of oil. So now we're going to go ahead and start the engine for the first time after the oil change. Uh, during this procedure it will be priming the oil filter full of oil. So take note when starting it of the oil pressure light down there. So as we start it, it's going to take roughly 5 seconds for the oil light to go out and that should be a normal time. If it's any longer, shut off the engine because you may have an issue. There we go, it's built up oil pressure quick enough. And we can turn it off and go and check our oil level. Now that you've left the car to sit for five minutes, just come back and check the dipstick. And as you can see, engine oil's quite low. So we go ahead and put another litre in. So we'll just fill it up with another litre of oil and then recheck it until we get our level correct on full. So we've got five and a half litres of oil in there now. And that's just on the full mark. So, correct amount of oil in there. Hold on.